world edit in five minutes. 90% of the time you'll just be using these commands. The first command is slash slash one, and that's how you're going to get your world edit tool, the wooden axe. Next up is position one and position two. So there's actually two ways to select a position. The first way is to select with your world edit axe, left click for the first position, right click on the second position so that it's selected all of this area. To select this area, so you don't have to build this, what you can actually do is just do it in the air and write slash slash POS2 or the second position and then you can world at X the first position. Now you can't see it right now, but I'll show you an example command. You can write set. You're gonna write one. One is just the code for stone, so we have this huge block now and you wanna make another one right over here. We're gonna use the copy command. So we're gonna write copy. Make sure you got our double slashes and it's going to copy the same exact position. So you see right here, it's on the left hand side. I want to build it right here. So I'm going to place a marker and we'll just write paste. And then it's going to paste in the same location where I was standing. Remember, I was on the left hand side. It's pasted on the left hand side. What if I made a mistake and I wanted to get rid of this? Well, you can write undo and that actually undoes everything there. If you change your mind, you can write redo and it'll put it back. Next is cut. Now this is the same exact thing as copy, except you're deleting the original thing. So you're gonna write cut. So it cuts it and then you can write paste and it'll paste it yet again. Next up is the move command. So I selected this area and let's say I wanna move it five blocks that way. You will just write move five and then it will move five blocks. Another way to move it is to type in the direction. So you write move, you can write move 10 up for example and then it'll move 10 blocks up and you can write down or left and right. The stack command stack. So what if I wanted a whole wall of these pillars? You're gonna select the object and let's have a gap in between and you'll face the direction you want and you can write stack. For example, let's write four. So it's gonna make four more of these in a wall like that. The same thing applies if you just wanna change the direction, you can write stack 10 up, 10 down, 10 left and right. The rotate command rotates. So you're gonna select an object here and you wanna rotate it, let's say 90 degrees, we'll copy it and then write rotate 90 degrees and then you would write paste and it will paste it. You see it changed directions. Usually you would move in increments of 90 degrees if you wanna keep everything straight. Now another way to do this, if you have an object and you want it symmetrical, you gotta select this. Let's write copy. And then you want to face the direction you wanna flip it in and write flip and then move over here and then write paste. And it should paste the same exact object, just the other direction. Next is the walls command. So we're gonna make a wall around this. So you're gonna select two points. Let's select right over here. And then we'll select right over here. And you're just gonna write walls and then pick a material. I'm gonna pick stone. And then we made a stone wall border around it. Next command is the line tool. So you're gonna select two points. So let's say I have two points here and we want a straight line between. You're just gonna select that and you're gonna write line and the material you want. I'm gonna use wool. And then it's like easy as that. So you can make lines really easy. For the center command, we're gonna have two points. Let's say you wanna find the middle between. So you're gonna select these two points and you're gonna write center and then the block type you want. Let's say grass and then it'll pick the middle point and then you can determine this is the middle. Really good for making road lines. Next up is the fill command. So what if you want a floor? Hover in the layer you want to fill in and write fill 1 100. Now the 1 it stands for the block so you can change this to any block you want. Maybe you want it bricks you can turn it to bricks. While the 100 is just going to be the radius and if you want to make this extra thick you can add in another number. This is going to be the height 2 blocks thick. Want to replace a certain type of block? Write replace. I want to replace the dirt so I'm going to write dirt and let's replace it with andesite. So it should be like that. So now let's go on to some tips and tricks. Some problems you may encounter when you're copying and pasting or stacking is that when you copy this object let's say we got these two points and you want to build it right over this object, what happens is the original object ends up getting deleted because it copies the air around it. To prevent that from happening when you're pasting it, just write paste negative A and then the A just stands for air. It's not going to copy the air and then you pasted it without destroying the original object. And this also applies to stacking. So let's say for example, I want to stack this five. Oh no, it deleted that stone there. I actually wanted that. The same command, just write negative A then it'll keep that stone right there. So what if you want a mixture of different blocks, such as a road, you want to add some texture to something, you're going to write set stone, comma, andesite, for example. It makes a mixture of stone and andesite and you can change this to whatever blocks you can have. You can also use the world of the axe to measure stuff. Just select the two points, how long this is, and it should say right here in the parentheses, 10. So this is gonna be 10 blocks long. So these are all the central commands you use 90% of the time. I do want more people to know how to use world editing.